Это так случайно, один раз. Обычно, когда так очень So I just came out from this restaurant, Dr. Givago, and I have to tell you, incredible. The service was great, um, the interior design is really unique. I recommend you to come in and check it out. It's not maybe the cheapest, it's not like very crazy expensive, but uh, some of you know I actually lived in Las Vegas for a long time. And Vegas is known for one of the best uh, restaurants because one of the top chefs come to Las Vegas, right? This is top. I mean, telling this is such a nice place. I mean, if anyone tells you that Russia is like not uh, luxurious or doesn't have the, the style, they have no idea what they are talking about. Anyway, let me show you where this place is located. It's actually right across from... Kremlin is on this side, you see the lights right there? Yeah, I recommend you to check it out one day. Very grateful to be able to have a dinner in such a beautiful place and wonderful service, very tasty food, very quick, um, quick service. Just love the place. That was my first nice restaurant. Hello everyone. Good morning, I hope it's not too windy since I'll, I still don't have the equipment, the fuzzy equipment to block the, the wind. But I'm standing at this beautiful place right here. I just posted the, I think it's the chambers from 17th or 16th century. Anyway guys, just want to start this uh, video from today because the first clips you saw were from last night and from the Dr. Jivago Cafe and I just would like to tell you in my personal opinion let's go a little that this place that place I went to yesterday I really enjoyed uh, dinner there it's a great place in my opinion especially in the evening because the lighting the colors the vibe uh, I think it's extra special and you have this incredible view of Kremlin is on the other side, you can see it. I was really blessed with this table. I didn't request a table like this, but I had the straightforward view. And uh, the restaurant is in the Hotel National, which is, I think, like I said in a previous video, one of the oldest hotels, luxury five-star five star hotels in Moscow. Um, and it's, uh, as, as you saw on the clip, it's on the corner, almost uh, across vis-a-vis almost from four seasons so today i have three topics for you from poland all of them and i was thinking how cool is this building huh i was thinking to go to the gorky's house museum maybe and show you and if i can visit arbat today i will do this as well so i hope you enjoy this day with me and let's go tunnel up close that's what it is what a place magic everywhere uh, let's start what shall we start with shall we start with telelive vision object uh, I came across the report that let me see I've written this down actually that Poles Polish people buy less TV sets this is on businessinteria.pl and 2023 could be even worse. In the last quarter of 2022, Poles bought almost 20% fewer TVs than in the same period of 2021. They choose technologically advanced um, 
receivers with a medium or large screen diagonal and most often they make purchases as a part of large promotional campaign so they buy less i mean they buy probably different qualities too but at the same time this could be buy less that's good so the live vision just my opinion hopefully it's not too windy might be too windy second news since i'm in this lovely place i might deliver you onet.pl another portal all the links again down below the video the p the peace government law and justice government in poland pays millions of dollars to make american aware of russian aggression on the internet the action is mainly followed by chinese bots so i will put this article down below what it says is that nearly 14 million złoty which is over 3.5 million dollars was the cost of the latest campaign of the Polish government aimed at showing the Americans the effects of Russian aggression against Ukraine. For this price, PR agencies were hired in the USA. The effects of their work are meager. That's what the article says. The social media profiles of the campaign are mainly followed by employees of hired agencies and accounts using Chinese bots and when they were clicking on those accounts they were not able to see who it is so there you have it that's where Polish uh, government is sending money to brainwash everyone let's go to the next destination and then maybe I can record the last news for you about unemployment in Poland isn't it beautiful here guys i have to make another video before i come out of it of this tunnel and then we go to the gorky's house museum everyone I'm about to go there and have some salad because I have to eat more vegetables <laughs> um, I want to give you the last information from Poland and this is about unemployment numbers so unemployment on Monday this is from Business Insider PL on Monday the head of the Ministry of Labor Marlena Malonk announced an increase in the unemployment rate in Poland from 5.2 to 5.5 percent and January is the second month in a row when the indicator goes up and the latest statistic unemployment has reached its highest level since April 2022 and the jump from month to month by 0 0.3 uh, percent is the largest increase since December 2020 at the end of January, 858,000 unemployed were registered in labor offices, which means that 46,000 people without the job arrived in a month. I want to say this. Uh, there are areas in Poland. Some of those areas are the places where they have closed the the mines so we have a lot of miners without without the job 
In those areas, there's 20% uh, or a little bit higher than that unemployment. People are truly struggling there with jobs. I came uh, very recently across the statistics that apparently 900,000 Ukrainian refugees have been already employed in Poland. Those refugees that came from uh, last year, I mean this, this time, since the conflict has started, right? The operation has started. Because we had many others before that were working already. So that's the current update, everyone. And I will end this video here. Now time to eat. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, press the like button and I will see you in another video, probably tomorrow. Lots of love, everyone. Yep.